Okay, the craziest thing I've done so far was the day I went to Enugu. I went to uh, shop right and I was opportune to be on the roller coaster and what happened was so, so funny. <laughs> Hello you guys, welcome back to another video. So we recently hit 10,000 subscribers and I made a post around my platform that you guys should ask me any question. And in this video, I'm going to answer all your questions. And these questions were actually about me and not design related, okay? So I'm going to answer all your questions in this video. So first off, I have to say thank you so much for getting us up here to 10,000 subscribers. Truly, you guys are so, so, amazing so the very first question comes from tabita nobu and the question says what motivates you every day apart from designing what motivates me every day is the fact that i learn something new learning something new every day motivates me of course i enjoy learning new things every day so this one comes from williams ak he says what do you study in the university okay i study human nutrition and dietetics this one comes from damski he says what are your hobbies i enjoy singing i enjoy exploring and mostly i enjoy design this one comes from trisha ophili she says if you have three wishes what would they be one is to achieve my dreams two is to make money and make more money and the last one is to find that special person, that special person that will help me out. <laughs> oh my god! Wow! Will you please tell me your happiest moment so far? Okay, I've got so many happiest moments, but one of my most happiest moments was the day I got my Google AdSense pin. It was so wonderful. Of course, apart from Jesus, apart from God, can't live without my phone. <laughs> okay, the craziest thing I've done so far was the day I went to Enugu. I went to uh, shop right and I was opportune to be on the roller coaster. And what happened was so, so funny. When the roller coaster started turning and it got to a point where, where I was sitting was at the top and I started shouting and they stopped the roller coaster and it was as if there was a technical fault. I started shouting from the top that they should roll me down. I want to come down. <laughs> It was so funny. <laughs> this one comes from Pasolo Question. He says, Okay, friend, I would like to ask, what is the biggest challenge you faced so far? Okay, the biggest challenge I've faced so far is being able to balance work and school. It's not that easy balancing work and school. So that's my biggest challenge so far. Jamie made it ask, How did your parents react to you being a YouTuber? How did you explain to them that you are a YouTuber? and what little way were they of help to you okay pretty much my parents have less idea about youtube so it was not that much they just said if it's right for you just do it anything that is right for you just do it. so it was not much to explain to them what little way were they of help to you when i explained to them about me starting a youtube channel they didn't really know much about the benefits of being a youtuber they just believe that whatever I'm doing is right for me and that I should go for it. So with time, I told them this is what I need and this is what I need. Especially when I was about to apply for my Google AdSense um, pin and they really needed to, to verify my location. So they needed my international passport since I have no national ID card that is valid for them and I don't have a voter's card. So they requested for a national, sorry, a international passport. So, my dad specifically sponsored me to get the international passport and that was very, very cool. My dad also helped me to acquire some of the things I have, like the space I use, he gave it to me for free, okay. That's one cool thing my dad did for me. So, my parents have been in support in anything. And my mom is always praying that I make it in whatever I do. She's always praying, especially every morning she asks me, What's up? How is it? How is it going? How, how many subscribers do you have? Things like that. So they are really, really supportive to me. Teams Nims Session asks, even after being successful in graphic designing, did you ever think going to school was necessary? Oh yes. Even with my success as a graphic designer, going to school is very necessary because it helps me to improve and do more in my career. Yeah. Going to school is very necessary. Bright Blessing asks, 
why don't you post videos of designs from Photoshop or don't you use Photoshop to design? Okay, you guys that have been in this channel for a long time now know that I started this channel with Corel Draw Tutorials but recently or some time ago I told you guys I'll be moving from Corel Draw to Photoshop Tutorials so I made a video telling you guys I'll switch my niche from Corel Draw to Photoshop so what happened is that I started making tutorials around Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator for those of you that have seen my recent videos you'll see that most of my videos are around Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator but then I have a dedicated channel for Corel Draw so if you're inter interested in learning Corel Draw you can check it out there and then asking about Photoshop and Illustrator check my recent videos and you are going to see that and currently all my designs are done with Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator I barely use Corel Draw these days this one comes from Fortune Aluma did friends leave when they saw your success i'm asking about how you dealt or deal with jealousy issues okay pretty much i don't have much friends to talk of friends leaving so i don't keep much friends except those ones that have same vision with me they have same dream with me and we all know that each time we come together we are always talking about the same thing we are helping each other to grow so Jealousy is not part of my circle. Everyone in my circle are people that have same dream, same vision. We all want to achieve our dreams together. So that's it. Sparkle Graphics asks, we all see you to be very perspicacious in your field in the sense that we all are eager to learn greatly from you as a mentor brought to your great success. What's your very advice to every one of us? Okay. My great advice to everyone is that never stop learning. At any point in your life as a graphic designer or anyone aiming to make it big in any of your industry, never stop learning new things. Never feel you've arrived. Because the moment you feel you've known all, that's when you start going down and your skills start degrading. Because you, you can never be perfect. Okay, so never stop learning. This one comes from Jesu Lolua Owolabi. She says, How many years have you been a graphic designer? Pretty much that's six to seven years now. Yeah, six to seven years. Also, knowing school has a lot of stress, how do you manage your time for both your career and school activities, like trying to go to classes and at the same time want to complete a job for clients? Okay, like I said before, my greatest challenge is balancing work. And school so being that I have more passion for my career I have passion for graphic design and making videos and teaching others so what I do is I give school less time and my career more time so I can study and work hard and make sure I'm up to date I give school like 40% of my time and I give my career 60% just like Mr. This one said, when he started YouTube, when he started his passion, just like what I'm doing, he gave school less time and gave his career more time. Spend more time on school and less on videos. And I was like, no, I want to spend less time on school and more time on videos. So my mom just wanted what was best for me, but it was pretty brutal at the start. So that's it. Which I asked, what was or what were your greatest fears, challenge and doubts when considering taking on this career path? Okay. Uh, pretty much I'm this type of person that I hardly believe I'm going to fail. I believe that everything I do, so far I committed into the hands of my creator, I believe that I'm going to succeed in it. I don't have doubts of failure. I don't believe I'm ever going to fail in anything I put my mind and all my effort and strength to do. So, no doubt, no fears. I believe that everything works out. Very, very tired right now. Okay, Blessing Emejilu asks, what's your favorite food? Okay, my favorite food is Afang soup. I love Afang soup so much. Justice L. Sonat asks, what do you desire to become apart from being a designer? Okay, before I came into graphic design, my passion have always been, my ambitions have always been to be a medical doctor. Which course are you studying in school and why that course? Okay. I study human nutrition and diabetes and that's because 
my parents want me to be in the medical school. I just decided to study human nutrition and dietetics. Not that I love it so much, but I just want to do it. This one comes from Miracle UI James. It says, your workspace, how did you go about acquiring it? Is it your own apartment or you use your room in your parents' house? Cool. I use my room in my parents' house. And it's not just a business center, it's my home workspace. So whenever I go to work, I come back, I use there to do the other job my YouTube videos, I do all of them, then my editing and all of that stuff. And it's also my learning space. So how I acquired those stuff is just that I got a lot of money from my design business. So each time I get a huge amount of money, I'll acquire one huge equipment and that's how I get those equipment one after the other till I get all of them. This one comes from a Boy. It says, apart from graphic designing, do you run a printing press in your office? Of course, I work in a printing press, so I'm the lead graphic designer there. And that's where I started my design career. That's where I started learning design in that printing press where I work. I still work there too. Date. So we do printing and we do graphic design. Are you working alone or do you have workers? Yeah, I don't work alone. I don't just have workers, I have a team I work with. And that looks cool. This other question comes from Adigun Israel. It says, where do you live? Okay, I live in Calabar. And this is the very last question, which comes from God's time, Iribo Bay. Pardon me if I pronounce your name wrongly. Okay, the question says, why and how did you become a YouTuber? Okay, it all started during the pandemic when everybody were at home, it was locked down. So I needed to share my skills. Someone gave me the idea to start posting my videos on YouTube, so that's just how I started up everything. Okay, I did not just wake up and start making videos. I wanted to share my ideas. I wanted to teach others. So, a friend came around and told me if I've heard about YouTube. I never knew anything about YouTube. I never knew one can make money or make videos on YouTube, so he told me about it. I started uploading my videos there, but my first aim was to make free classes for people. Then he said I should start making YouTube videos. So that was how I became a YouTuber. He also asked, what were your major challenges kicking off? Who? The major challenges I have was to acquire quality, yeah, good equipment, so I can get quality videos. That's just a major challenge. And lastly, your skills, are they self-taught or was there a time you went to a design school or academy? No, I've never been to a design school. All my skills are self-taught. That's it. So, pretty much that's all the questions. And I have to say thank you so much once again for getting us up to 10,000 subscribers. Let's say our next goal is 100,000 subscribers. But before then, we'll be celebrating other milestones gradually. And let me know down in the comments which video would you like me to make on the channel. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next video. Peace.